you magical folk welcome back to my channel i hope you're all keeping safe and well today i thought i would share with you what i received for my birthday i've got a lot of harry potter goodies i had some birthday money as well which i've already spent and i do have a cheeky bit of money left to maybe treat myself to something else so maybe i can get your opinions on what you think i should buy with that but let me show you first of all what i did get don't forget guys, if you are new to my channel and you haven't done already, then please hit the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community. Don't forget to turn those notification bells on to be notified every time I upload a video and you can always check me out on my social media. Okay, so the first thing I have to show you is something that my friends sent me. They all kind of pulled in together to get me some birthday money and just a couple of little presents as well. And one of them was this. So obviously, as you can see, this is a lovely little velvet uh, pouch, if you will. And inside are these absolutely gorgeous Harry Potter makeup brushes. We've got one that looks like Hermione's wand. We've got another that looks like the Elder wand. We have another that looks like Ron's wand. We have one that's Voldemort's wand, and of course, the boy himself, Harry Potter's wand. So yeah, these are really, really pretty brushes, guys. They're really fluffy brushes that I absolutely adore. They're all ones that I didn't have previously as well, which is great. They are metal as well, which means they feel a lot nicer. They feel really good quality. And yeah, I'm very, very excited to start using these because I haven't done as yet. So yeah, I definitely think I'm going to start breaking these in. The same group of friends also sent me this very, very nice, but very blue lip gloss. It looks really, really pretty, but I'm very, very nervous to use it. I have never used a blue lip gloss before, so I am very, very nervous to wear it. I don't know if it'll be an everyday thing or if it might just be if I'm doing some sort of like inspired makeup uses. But yeah, they were very adamant that I needed a Ravenclaw lip gloss. So this is what they sent me. So I thank you very much, my darlings. But very nervous to use this, I'm not gonna lie. Moving on, my brother and his girlfriend actually got me these. These are really, really sweet. And yes, I am one of those heinous people that take Pop Funko's out of their boxes. I don't think that they're gonna be worth anything, even the more rarer ones. They are so mass produced that keeping them in boxes for me personally just seems like a waste of space. So I do take them out of their boxes and I do display them probably normally in like little scenes or little sort of areas where they kind of all go together. So it just depends on the Pop Funko. But yeah, he got me this very adorable Dobby. He looks really, really sweet. He's actually got a little flicker of magicalness in his hand. So obviously when he uses his magic, then he gets this little spark as well. So yeah, that is in there, which I thought was a really, really sweet little touch. He is too adorable. And I didn't have a Dobby before, so I'm very, very grateful for him. He also got me this gorgeous little head wig as well, which again is so, so sweet. I absolutely adore her. She's really well detailed and pretty. And yeah, she kind of sits with all my acceptance letters. So this is where Hedwig will live. Another thing that my brother got me was this really adorable, sort of like chibi Harry Potter. It's a pen holder, but I think I'm actually going to use it for my makeup brushes. So I thought that was a really, really sweet gift, something that I probably wouldn't have bought for myself if I had sort of seen it in the shop. But now that I've actually been gifted it, it's really, really adorable. It's got Harry's little scar, it's glasses. He's got a lovely Gryffindor scarf going around him. And yeah, now that I've actually had it, like I said, I think it's going to be very, very useful for all my brushes. So that's very, very nice too. Next up, we have some Noble Collection items, which I was really, really excited for because these are the things that I specifically asked for and my husband and my children bought me a couple bits and bobs. So the first one, it was actually from my children. This one I didn't technically ask for. I actually asked for a slightly different one, but I hadn't actually seen this one previously. So when I unwrapped it, I was like, oh my God, how adorable is that? So this is, of course, a absolutely adorable, very fluffy, Demi Guys plushie. How adorable is this little guy? Like I said, I hadn't seen him previously. I have had a little bit of a nosy over on the Fantastic Beast section, but I haven't really paid that much attention. I'm more for the Harry Potter side of things than the Fantastic Beasts, but I do love me a Fantastic Beast. So this guy is so squishy and adorable. He's seriously fluffy. Can't cope actually with how fluffy this guy is. He got all sorts of beardies going on, all sorts of tufties. I can almost style his hair. That's how fluffy this guy is. He's lush. And his hands are actually Velcro, so they can sort of clasp together. If it worked, there we go. So you can clasp together. So I suppose you could have him holding something there if you really wanted to. He's got little feeties. He's got this really bushy tail. And yeah, this is super adorable. And I was so pleased to see him when I opened him up. I was like, oh, how did I not spot this little guy before? He's too cute. 
Keeping with the plushy theme, I also got myself out of my birthday money this adorable Niffler. I've become obsessed with Nifflers lately. The more I sort of look at them, the more I sort of go a bit gooey eyed for them. They're absolutely gorgeous. This one is really, really sweet. As you can see, he is still in his uh, trade box, if you will, and he has not come out of it just yet, but he will be very soon. I'll probably get him out after this video has been there filmed, actually. But yeah, he's really, really sweet. He's got his lovely little nose and he's got some lovely beady little eyes. He's even got a coin in his hand, which says 1920 on it. I'm trying to work out actually if that's like a galleon or if it's like based off of our money. I don't know. But yeah, this guy is super cute. He's very fluffy again, but he's not as fluffy as the Debbie guys. But yeah, this was actually the one that I specifically asked for. But I'm really, really pleased with both of them to be fair. And I'm glad that I was able to get both because had I seen the Debbie guys, I probably would have asked for him as well. Oh, uh, Demi guys fair. <laughs> So moving on to what my husband bought me for my birthday, I had asked for a series of wands. I didn't expect him to get me all of them, don't get me wrong, it's not as if I was like, yeah, buy me all these wands please now. Um, I kind of gave him some to choose from, so I said, you know, if you get me any of these so many wands, um, then I will be happy with any single one. Well, he decided, um, because he knows that I would probably run away with him if I had the chance, uh, he bought me Ron Weasley's wand. So it came in this really beautiful box. This is the one I believe that is the Ollivander style wands. So they have like the organza material inside and they're supposed to look a little bit more like you would buy them from Diagon Alley. So this is, like I said, the wand box that it came in. It's got this really deep navy kind of blueness to it. And then you open it on up. And like I said, we've got this lovely organza. And then we open that and inside is the wand. So I will show you in a little bit more detail. So this is Ron's wand. As you can see, it's the second wand, not the one that he snaps in the Chamber of Secrets. It's got a really like proper wooden branch kind of feel to it. It looks like you've just sort of snapped it off a tree and like handed it to Ollivander and said, make this magical, please. <laughs> so yeah, I really, really like this wand. It's kind of wibbly wobbly as well down the actual part of this wand. And then we've got the more sort of tree stumpy looking end to it on this side. So yeah, I was very, very pleased with this wand. I was actually very, very um, impressed that he managed to get me the Ollivander style one. So yeah, I was really, really pleased with that. And yeah, I actually officially have Ron Weasley's wand. So the next item I have is another wand. This one, again, was on my list for my husband to buy me, but like I said, wasn't expecting him to buy me all of them. So I ended up buying this one with my birthday money. But I thought to myself, I have Hermione's wand, I have Ron's wand, I need Harry's wand. So I did, I went ahead and I bought Harry Potter's wand with my birthday money. So this is the character wand, not the Ollivander style wand that my husband bought me with the Ron wand. This is the character one. So I think they are exactly the same um, wands, whether you buy them in that box or these boxes. It's just the boxes are slightly different depending on whichever one that you buy. But this one's got this really lovely holographic label on the front. It says Harry Potter on here. And it also says a recreation of the famous wand. And then if I open this box up, we've got some foam padding. And then if we remove that, we have Harry Potter's wand. And then here is a little piece of tissue paper and wrapped inside that is a name tag. And if you saw the unboxing of my McGonagall wand, you'll have an idea of what that looks like, but I will show you in more detail in a second. So this is Harry's wand. This is actually a lot nicer in real life than I've seen it on the actual pictures on the website. It looks a lot more authentic in real life, I believe, than it does on the pictures. And this is a really, really nice one. It's got a nice weight to it. It's not too heavy, it's not too light. And I think it looks really, really realistic. I really, really love this wand. Like I said, inside the little bit of tissue paper is the tag that comes with it. So you can either hang these on the ones themselves, or if you buy the display cabinets from Noble Collection, they have like a little part of it that you can kind of clip all the name tags to, and then you can kind of have them in its display box, and then you can have like the bit that's hanging down that has the name of whichever wand that it might be. So this one is like just a normal clip. It does have a little bit of padding on there as well, so you're not damaging the wand or the display box. And it simply says on this one, Harry Potter. There we are. So yeah, I was really, really excited when um, I opened Ron's wand and I thought to myself, you know what, now I've got that, I really, really do need Harry's. 
So I very quickly show you the Golden Trio's wands. So this is the Golden Trio's wand, obviously Harry's, Ron's in the middle and Hermione's on the end. Hermione's was actually the very first wand that I bought and I bought that at the studio tours in London and yeah, it was the very, very first wand that I ever bought. So it has a very, very nice sentimental value to me. Also, it is a lot longer than either of the boys' wands. As you can see, there is a good two inches maybe on there. Maybe an inch actually, I'm probably overcompensating um but yeah there is a very big size difference i think in harry ron and hermione's wand obviously harry and ron's being pretty much similar if if not identical really in, in length and then hermione's is a little bit on the longer side but yeah those are my golden trio noble collection wands and i am starting to really expand into the wand thing because i haven't got that many official ones i've got quite a few non-official and obviously i've got some from the geek gear boxes but yeah i really really want to get as many of the official ones as i possibly can now okay so the last thing i have to show you is something that i've wanted for a very very long time i don't actually know why i haven't bought it for myself sooner but hey ho i got it for my birthday and i was just so so pleased to finally have this in my collection i've wanted it like i said for so so long it is of course the absolutely stunning golden egg necklace this is so beautiful i mean i've never actually seen it properly in real life i've only ever seen it in other people's videos or i've seen it in like magazines and things or on the noble collection website never actually been able to hold it in real life so getting this was just made my absolute millennium it really did as sad as that might sound but yeah I was really really very very pleased to get hold of this and the little lid lifts off and then inside we have the necklace itself I'm gonna very carefully wiggle it on out because sometimes the little chain does get a little bit entangled there we go so the display case is really really beautiful it's got like a glass background and it has like harry potter etched in it's like a little wooden box and it has some little decorative pieces on the side really really pretty and ornate box and then the golden egg itself if i take this off and show you this is so beautiful so this is like i said the golden egg it's got all the details on the sides as well it's really really beautiful and then if you very carefully because this as much as I don't think it will break it kind of has that really delicate kind of feel to it so I am terrified to break this so this is not something that will be opened and closed every three minutes this has to be handled ever so carefully but yeah if you turn the top the actual egg opens on up so how beautiful is that look it's so pretty i was literally beaming from ear to ear when i got this it's so beautiful i just wish like every part of my body aches and wishes that the golden egg that noble collection sells the big life-size version did the same thing because how amazing would that be this is just so beautiful it feels quite heavy for like a necklace anyway i gave it to my daughter and i was like oh it's really heavy and my little girl was like it's not heavy I'm like no it's not heavy but for a necklace it is a little bit on the heavier side i suppose but it is so beautiful so so pretty the fact that it opens is just absolutely amazing and then when you want to close it up you just very carefully close the sides and then you turn the leaf back around and then it's closed so yeah how beautiful is that so that was everything that I had for my birthday, guys. I really, really hope you enjoyed this video and seeing exactly what I got. I also, like I said, have a little bit of birthday money left over. I probably have, give or take, around 40, maybe 50 pounds left in birthday money. And I really, really, really don't know quite yet what to do with it. So if you have any suggestions for me, pop them in the comments down below. I'd love to see what you guys would like to see me unbox, maybe, or like to see me get to my, for my collection. And yeah, I'm really, really intrigued what you think I should buy. So yeah, definitely leave me a comment down below. Also, if you did like this video, then please give me a magical thumbs up so that I know. Don't forget to click the subscribe button to become part of my little magical community. And also hit the notification bells so you never miss out on another video from me. And I will see you very soon in the next one. Bye, you guys. The same group of... Just a little bit, ooh, ah, a little bit more, ooh, ah. I've never used, and, ooh, get you off there. Oh, that dummy guy's got fluff all over me. Oh, dummy guy's fur.